Right. Hey, uh, Rocco in California. Hey. Hey, Rocco. Hey, Catrice. Rocco. Uh. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> Fuck you, why? I didn't hear nobody up there. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, John <laughs> Hey, what the fuck with this dude, Eric? Take, tell him take his old lady to a goddamn motel and bang this shit out of her ass. That's all <laughs> Good one. Good one, Good one Rocco. I like, I like Rocco. That's what I'm If she don't want to give it up, put a porno in and come on her fucking face. Oh, <laughs> just I like this allergy. guy. Now, there might be some people out there that's going, oh, this motherfucker's out of his mind. But he's not out of his mind. That's what she wants. The, tec the technique, the, the approach may be a little bit wrong. <laughs> but the technique is basically, let me tell you Let me tell you a quick story. Hold on, Rocco. Let me tell you a quick story about what I learned uh, uh, about four years ago. What I what something I learned I might have told the story before, but I was fucking this girl, and and she's one of these high she was a high class person you know super lawyer uh you know five hundred thousand dollar year job so she was a very elevated type of Socially progressive bitch elevated. you know but we were fucking one day and I was coming I'm like oh give me come oh shit shit I'm like sit on my face sit on my face so she sat on my face right. And I'm, I jerked off. It was one of the best comes I ever had. So afterwards, she's real analytical. She's like, wow, I never uh, did that before. I go, well, why'd you do it now? And you know what she said? She said, because you left me no room for protest. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. You, and and it's, not, it's not a rape thing. It's a... It, there was no space in her mind to be able to do what... There was nowhere for her to go, I, I'm not in the mood, or whatever that she was saying to Eric is, oh, no, nah, not tonight, bitch. What? Like, my girl can't think about saying not tonight on any level, and it ain't because she's brutalized and no shit like that. It's just that there's no space between, like, her opinion and what the fuck I want. Her opinion is, like, the third thing on the list before, like, you sitting on my fucking That's face. Right. So, Rocco... Now, Patrice. What? Patrice, I've seen you on your web jump. Use one ugly motherfucker, but tell you what, <laughs> I guarantee you... Thank you, Rocco. that woman <laughs> right there loves you to death and will fuck your brains out just for the Never fact that you took control, you made it happen, and you treated her like she wanted to be treated. Not some pansy-ass bullshit, I'm not in the boot. Bullshit! You're going to give up the pussy, and you're going to enjoy it. <laughs> I, I, I actually, yeah, I, like Rocco. I know you, you don't want to like Rocco out there, but, you, you gotta. but if you take a, a little bit of Rocco... And just put a little sugar in it. <laughs> <laughs> Rocco, Rocco's like vodka straight, nigga. <laughs> now you take the hole and you shove a head in the toilet. <laughs> Rocco, think about it. Ask, ask the bitch if she'd ever had a man just take her and just say, hey, baby, look at it. You're going to lay down and I'm going to eat that snatch till you come. And shut up. No, I don't want to hear a fucking word. Drop them panties. Yeah, but you know what, though, Rocco? Hold on a second. Now, do you know there, there are techniques to introduce in certain things to a woman like, you know... Well, you... there's times for finesse, and sometimes a woman just wants you to go straight, raw monkey sex on it. Now, 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 that's that's what the... Eric's wife needs. <laughs> Eric's wife needs some monkey wait sex. Wait a minute, though. Raw Before I hang up, sex. Rocco, show me a little finesse what? side. Before I hang up on you, show me the finesse side. What's the finesse? Anything that you say finesse a bitch with? If I was to finesse a girl? Yeah, go <laughs> I ain't got no fucking <laughs> 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 If it ain't broke, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, it. bye, Rocco. <laughs> That's fucking Rocco the rapist. That nigga punch a bitch. Rocco the rapist. Yeah. <laughs> Flush a bitch's head down the toilet. You just take it, fucking pee on the back of her neck. <laughs> She'll like it. She would like it. Oh, my God. I don't think there's any woman that doesn't want a strong man. Ooh, That's ooh. bullshit. R rusty Knife. And uh, I don't know where he's at, but Rusty, rusty knife. knife. Go ahead, Rusty Knife. Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, what's Rusty. Up, Russ? I've been uh, I've been married five years now. My wife, I have two daughters with her. My Pesci. wife, she wants to have herself <laughs> a little career, and she's forcing me to stay home now. I don't know what to do with the I understand how you say it. somebody's a woman is forcing you to do anything. Well, well, she said that she's going to send uh, Patrice a noose in the oak tree, and he knows what to do with it. Is that what your wife said? Or yeah. that's what you're saying? Well, no, that's what she told me. Oh, oh just because she's turned... That's because, you know what? She want to do that. She want to send good old Patrice a noose in the oak tree. Is telling because, the truth. Yeah, because she she's in fear of you finding out that that horse shit she's trying to pull 
ain't going to happen to me. And now she can say anything she fucking wants, like, oh, you know, these guys are, are fucking Neanderthals. But you know what? To be honest with you, you know, I really am a Neanderthal because I like to tap into what Neanderthals didn't deal with. They didn't deal with some bitch going, ugh, you stay home, kid. Me go hunt. Uh, you Me go hunt whatever the fuck men hunted back then. And, and I, I hunt. You stay home with your dick swinging, looking like I what I should look like. That's that fucking shit that girls do. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what you're setting yourself up for when you when you be a stay at home dad. This is what you're gonna be a stay at home mom, cause that's what the fuck that she's supposed to be doing. Don't lose your fucking balls like that. And I'm gonna tell you why. If you love your woman for her own good. You cannot let her put you in that situation because uh, I'm just I'm just afraid I'm gonna wake up one morning and uh she's gonna have him sewn on herself. You know what? But that's the, but see you can't live in fear. See mm-hmm. women only there's only a few and and Kathleen is one of them that you meet in this world that are devoid of that thing that women have that ultra emotion. She on she's only powerful if you let her be powerful meaning if you if if she jokes about she probably jokes about it like like if you go hey if i fuck another girl what would you do you might do hypothetical things like that and she'll go well well if you did that i would i would sew your balls to your leg or my girl i'm like if i get caught in the bed she goes i'll go bust all your windows out in in your truck now i i look at it like <laughs> i just look at it like bitch I don't even believe that hypothetically mm. you wouldn't do that. Because you know why? She's scared. I've never put my hand on her, never did nothing like that. But she's scared what I potentially would do. She's afraid of what... You've never introduced her to, like, a side of you that she doesn't understand. She thinks she gets you. And when a woman thinks she gets you, that's when it's all over. See, here's, here's how it works for a woman. The, the amount of time that it takes for her to pussy you up is the amount of time that she sticks around to enjoy you being a pussy. So if it took you five years to pussy you up, she's going to stick around for five years to enjoy you being a pussy. And then she's going to leave you. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, I see where you're going. So you cannot, if, look it, you can't just say, hey, bitch, don't work. Because, I mean, if the bitch is bringing home some fucking money, you, you, you can't be homeless and a pimp. So it's the, it's like, trust me, man. You can't be put in a position where that, that where you let like her having more money than you, because women can't handle that shit. She can't, she's not gonna be able to handle you having more like you having less money than her. She's not gonna be ha- be able to handle you getting up in the morning making her fucking breakfast. She can't deal with that. She's gonna look at you like a punk. Do you understand? All a woman has in this world is that her man is cool. That's their presentation. If she presents you to the world as my stay-at-home husband, nigga, how can she do that? How can you let her do that? Present you, this is my husband, the wife. (laughs) Do you understand? Rusty, what kind of job does she want to get? Well, she she wants to work at some... uh... I guess some secretary at some some office somewhere. It's not even know. A, something. Okay, if she's that's, making that's th- six stuff. figures. Do you make enough money for her not to do that? Well, yeah, definitely. Okay. The point yeah, is not whether whether, whether or not she's Dante's working point, though. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, Rusty. Hold on a second, Dante. From now, when you ask a question, you gotta <laughs> fucking have a point. Now, when you ask this motherfucker what his wife did and what he did, what was your point today? My point is, if it was a job, like a career job, it's a secretary. It's like a, right. you know, okay. whatever. It, it don't even fucking matter. Yeah, or if, if they need the money, that's significant. That matters. Well, yeah, but you can't. See, that's the thing. You can't. Listen, Rusty, let me tell you something, man. you got to understand for the sake of your fucking marriage. You hear me? For the sake of your marriage. Do not get put in a position where she thinks you ain't cool. And I know that's some corny shit, but, but if true. she can't look at you like my man is the shit, then your marriage is over. Because you know that trickles down into your kids. They're going to start going, oh, dad. Over. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your kids and the people around you, they're all going to start to look at you with a little less of a of that that lore that men have, man, our walk, our talk, our arrogance. You know why bitches, bitches hate me, right? Hate is the same thing as love. If I wasn't arrogant, my girl said the other day, can you get off that pimp shit for once? I go, if I do, bitch, then what? 
Then what? What you gonna do then? Hey, we're gonna take a quick break real quick. We're gonna come back with like all phone calls. So uh Pauly, Bob, Scott, Jared, Mike, Oliver. And some bitches call too, you scary ass hoes. You can call. I'll I'll listen to you talk about nothing. Alright, we'll Get be back in a second. Bye. <laughs> 